Radeski was a Polish migrant. He was born in Poland in 1865 and then arrived in Australia in 1882 with his parents and siblings. They'd arrived as assisted migrants. He was 16 when he arrived in Australia and he had attended an art school in Poland. And then from 1883, when he moved to Sydney independently, he attended art school at the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts in Pitt Street in Sydney. He was a skillful drawer. That was his thing, not painting so much. He received several awards from the Royal Art Society for drawing, including one for life drawing, which becomes very critical then for his later career working in stained glass. A number of his drawings, his design drawings for various stained glass commissions still exist. He was very strong with hand gesture, facial expression. They're very beautiful in those respects. His depiction of drapery and garments is also very lovely and architectural detail. He crossed over all of those aspects with a great deal of skill. His training working with stained glass started in 1885, the year that he joined the glass company, the stained glass company that Frederick Ashwin was a partner of. Ashwin and Radeski worked together on a three panel window for St Paul's Church in Cobbety as one of the early commissions that Radeski actually worked on. They are particularly fine examples of Radeski's design and work. It is certainly said that he used his own family and circle of friends to depict the faces that we see in the stained glass windows. His figures are very gestural and very natural. The drapery is expertly conveyed and that's part of the power of Radeski's stained glass windows to draw you in. Frederick Ashwin died in 1909, and then from the following year, 1910, Radeski became the chief, the main designer, I suppose, in a second stained glass firm owned by Frederick Ashwin's cousin, John Ashwin, who had been a jeweler. So once Radeski joined John Ashwin's company, he did seem to experience a lot more freedom in his work. That's also when we see him bringing a brighter, more vibrant sense of colour into his work. And then following John Ashwin's death in 1954, Radeski took over John Ashwin's firm as proprietor. His commission for St Declan's Church was very important and very personal. What's beautiful and important about that commission was the single window that he designed and dedicated to his wife, Emma. He had married Emma in 1888 and Emma was the daughter of the family who Radeski had boarded with in Paddington when he first moved away from his own family and moved to Sydney. They'd had nine children together and it was obviously a long and committed marriage. And I think that window in St Declan's was the outward expression of that commitment. John Radeski was certainly a master craftsman, a master stained glass artist, with a very, very strong artistic background that supported his stained glass work. He is an outstanding example of stained glass artistry in Australia in the 20th century.